Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a paper 2D flipbook. And this will be a countdown from 9 to 0, or maybe it'll be from 0 to 9. I haven't quite decided yet. I was inspired to do this because I was trying to follow this tutorial and I could not find this asset. So I was getting. I felt like it needed to be redone. And this is only, um, this tutorial is only 4.27. It's changed since this one. So I felt I would do an updated tutorial to get going on this. Okay, I'm just checking my audio right there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump into Unreal Engine. Hopefully this won't take very long. And we're just gonna call this My Project 2. We don't need any starter content or anything like that. And we'll just go create now I noticed this is actually based on sprites and it's basically just a series of sprites run together to create the appearance of an animation. But sprites themselves are all throughout Unreal Engine. In fact, that's a sprite right there. So these are just a series of sprites in a row to create the appearance of motion. So to get started on this, we're just gonna right click. We're gonna go to Paper 2D and we're gonna go to Sprite. We don't have to name it anything special. I'm just gonna leave it Paper Sprite and I'm gonna double click it. I'm gonna go ahead and dock this. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit save all. We're gonna look for a source texture here. And the one that in the original tutorial was called 2D character. And you can see it's not it's not here under textures. I don't, I don't see it as available. If we look under count, we can find this one. And this is really interesting to me. This was really, really interesting because this actually comes as a, just as a kind of a single image. So if we click over here and go edit source region, now we have these options available here, but we're going to, what we're really going to do, if you take a look at this thing, if we double click on this, oh, I'm sorry, if we go to extract sprite, if we look at this original image and we go to the grid, you'll see that the cell width is 1152 by 128. And so it's a single image that length. It's a width of 152 pixels by a height of 128. So if you just wanted to create your own in another external program, you could very easily do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on cell width and make it 128. And watch what happens when we do this. You notice that it created basically a grid over the image. And what this grid's going to do is going to extract these out as individual frames. So you can, at this level, when we're at this point, if we wanted to change like the, the background color, we could do that. We could change the background color. We could change the viewport texture here. We could change this color as well. Uh, maybe something, I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that for right now. I don't like this background color, so I'm going to kind of change it back to, I think, a white, a white color. So anyway, we have that. Now watch what happens when I hit extract. It automatically created these individual sprites. Now, the word of warning is this. Once you've done this and extracted these sprites, do not delete these. These are going to be available for you as assets now. And if you, for some reason, if you delete these, it will crash Unreal Engine. And it, in my case, it generated a, it crashed it and it kept on crashing and I actually had to re uninstall and reinstall Unreal Engine. So I reported it as a bug, but do not delete these. So if you were to redo this exact procedure over again and create another set of sprites, you'd not only have these sprites but then you'd have the additional sprites you created so they're kind of like what's that star trek episode with tribbles <laughs> you can't really get rid of them so and for some reason it created this and i'm not sure what that's all about anyway we have our our sprites now so all we have to do right now is right click and we'll go to paper 2d and we'll go into paper flipbook and we don't have to name it anything special i'm just going to double click on it and it takes us into here now it's kind of weird because it says here you can drag and drop. I don't know, you'd have to undock it and all that, but you have the option to right click. So that's what we're gonna do. If, And there's a difference on how you do this. So if you right click, we can add keyframes. And so let's add nine keyframes. Now you notice, uh, add a keyframe. You notice it's, it's animating right now. So I'm just going to pause that and stop it. So I'm just gonna click here and it doesn't appear to be a shortcut key for this. So we're just gonna go ahead and add keyframes here. So we have nine keyframes. Now if you click here on the top, you can keep continuing to add keyframes. And then if you click down here in this blank area, you have the option to, well, if we come up here to pick new sprite, 
we can just simply that will make this a countdown so I'm just gonna click that there and I'm just gonna write so you just have to kinda go through here and just click them to add them so pick new sprite 7 pick new sprite 6 pick new sprite 5 pick new sprite 4 pick new sprite 3 pick new sprite two there might be another way to do it but this is to me the just as good as any because okay and if you click and drag these you can extend the length of the thing so if we hit play you see there is our animation plane and it might seem that those are going too fast so if we want we just click here and we can extend this out like that it's pretty old-fashioned it seems to be this uh, way of doing it uh, hopefully it doesn't crash on me <laughs> so I'm just clicking and dragging but we'll have the ability to adjust the play rate and you'll see that in just a minute here so it seems like it's being a little finicky with me when I click and drag on these so I just have looks like three more so I'm just clicking and dragging to expand them and there's only like eight of them yeah, there we go and so there they all are so if I hit play again there is our there we're going okay so now I can go ahead and click save and if I go back into the game here I have my new flipbook here and all I have to do is drag it onto the scene and it's running straight away so I can hit the space bar here and spin it around and there it is and it just keeps going and going and going if we come over here and we look on the details panel we have this play rate and you see I can drag it down here see so it's not flying down quite so fast and that's it that's it and it still keeps playing even without the game playing it just runs <laughs> So I'm looking here, let's take a look and see if there's anything to shut it off. Oh, I guess when I'm on this panel I can shut it off. But I don't see that there's any way to shut it off. But if I if I do see a way to do that, I will certainly let you know. I'm, I'm sure we could tie this to a blueprint and then make it activate at a certain time or make it become visible. And but that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. And like I said, be careful. Don't delete the sprites once they're created. And hopefully there'll be a fix to that later. So there, and there shouldn't be any need to recreate them. You've created them. So anyway, take care. Have a great day. And I will talk to you next time.